tonight. A Russian-born Orange County dentist who spends most of her time trying to prove that Barack Obama wasn't born in the United States. Well, an Army Reserve major is again raising controversy over President Obama's place of birth. Now, the major challenged his deployment orders, claiming that President Obama wasn't born in the United States. Now, Tamara, let's get back to the issue we were talking about with uh, Senator Roberts off the top, and that is this alleged birth certificate that supposedly, at least according to birthers, shows President Obama was born in Kenya. Uh, we also have a copy of the Honolulu Advertiser, the newspaper, August 13th, and the Hawaii Star Bulletin, August 14th, 1961, both announcing Barack Obama's birth. Of them, um, August 13th in the Honolulu Advertiser, August 14th in the Hawaii Star Bulletin announcing the birth of Barack Obama. How could these birth announcements have been fabricated 48 Absolutely. years before President Obama possibly took office? What I've seen now, here's what I've seen I've seen the Honolulu newspaper announcing his birth in Hawaii. Newspaper I've seen that. Know. Newspaper. Well, you think they, do you think they cooked up that newspaper announcement back in 1961? You think they cooked it up so that he could someday be president? They as, cooked as, it up. As a newspaper article, an official document? But, but do you think they cooked it up? Wait a minute, wait a minute. Is it a newspaper article? No, it's an not. Official document? It's, wait a minute, wait a minute. Is it a newspaper article? No, it's an not. Official document? It's, wait a minute, wait a minute. Is it a newspaper article? No, it's an not. Official document? It's, uh, you ask me to prove that I was born in New York City at the time, <clears throat> a hospital, I say, and I will give you a certified copy of a full birth certificate with a doctor's signature, the hospital, and everything else. I won't direct you to some photograph on the Internet and a bunch of hearsay statements that would not be accepted as evidence in any court of law. Are you looking for the president's birth certificate? Yep. It's on the Internet, no, no, Lester. No, no. I won't direct you to some photograph on the Internet and a bunch of hearsay statements that would not be accepted as evidence in any court of law. And so here we go. What is your argument, Gordon? Yeah, my argument is this whole thing could be settled in a minute if the president would simply produce a valid birth certificate. So far, and so far as I know, he has not. All he's produced has been a, quote, certificate of live birth. You can't get a passport with that. You can't even register your son for Little League with that. You're looking for the president's birth certificate? Yep. It's on the internet, no, no, last no. You're looking for the president's birth certificate? Yep. It's on the internet, no, no, last time. No, no. Look, this is crazy. Look, no one agrees with you. <laughs> no. Congressman um, Castle, I want to know, I have a birth certificate here from the United States of America saying I am an American citizen with a seal on it, signed by a doctor with the hospital administrator's name, my parents, my date of birth, the time, the date, I want to go back to January 20th, and I want to know why are you people ignoring his birth certificate? Yeah! Yeah! He is not an American citizen. He is a citizen of Kenya. Look, this is crazy. Look, no one agrees with you. No. Do you think Barack was born in the United States? No, I do not. Why? <laughs> Why do you think he was? Because I've seen his birth certificate. Oh, the hell you have. Nobody's Nobody seen has. his birth certificate. Nobody. It's strange that the birth certificate isn't produced. It was, I think it was produced. Mm, well, where was that? I think he's a Kenyan. You don't think he was born here? Hell no. So do you think Barack Obama was born in the United States? I don't know. You don't think he was born in the United States? No, I don't. Why? because he won't produce the original birth certificate. Look, this is crazy. Look, no one agrees with you. No. The preponderance of the evidence is as follows. You've got a, a deposition, which is a sworn statement from the step-grandmother who says, I was present and saw him born in Mombasa, Kenya. Uh, you've got the certificate of live birth that they... Uh, that they have here. It's not a birth certificate. It says right on it, certificate of live birth. How do you explain the announcement in the, in the, in the uh, Honolulu Advertiser back in 61 when he was born that he was born? How do you explain that? 
Well, to the parents I would he was want, born to. I would want my child born in the United States, or at least I would want people to think he was born in the United States so he could have all the advantages of being a United States. But it States. listed their address in Honolulu. Yeah, and also you've got uh, a statement that it was the uh, okay. Kanamope uh, okay. Hospital, and then you get the statement that it was the Queen's Hospital. They can't even get So that if he wasn't born here, and he's never gone through a naturalization process, right? Did you know of? Not that I know of. Therefore, he's here illegally. That would and you're saying he's an undocumented alien. Illegal alien. He's an illegal alien. So the president, so he should be picked up. Well, <laughs> no, I'm um, if Obama really had a Hawaiian birth certificate, we would have seen it by now. What's been misquoted a lot of times is the Hawaiian authorities. Two individuals stated they saw his birth certificate and it's for real but notice in their statement if you go back a couple weeks ago it does not mention that it's a Hawaiian birth certificate we have discussed the birther phenomenon before on this show a birther is someone who believes the theory that president obama is not a natural born u.s citizen and therefore cannot legitimately be president natural born citizen is one who is not only born in the country but whose parents both of them are citizens of the country that's not true uh, that's absolutely that is not true. a fact that's no, absolutely no, listen, fact. you have to know i mean I, and i don't know people Believe come me. here illegally let's say they come over the mexican border they can be and she's pregnant yes now, they're, they're really Legal, they have a baby. That baby's an American citizen. Citizen, but not natural born. That's the whole point. People but they can understand. be president if they're no, born here. No, no, no. That's the whole point because people need to understand the difference. And I can show this. Hopefully, not you another can picture. See it. Only they can't <laughs> the see it anyway. Picture. And that's that's uh, the law of nations. That's a legal treatise that was used when the Constitution was written, and it says natural born citizen is uh -huh. one who is born in the country to two parents that are citizens. Natural born citizen is uh -huh. one who is born in the country to two parents that are citizens. Obama knows he is not natural born, as he knows where he was born, and he knows he was adopted in Indonesia. Um, if Obama really had a Hawaiian birth certificate, we would have seen it by now.